Today we will be discussing the topics of theocracy, hysteria, and mass hysteria, and how they pertain to the 1692 Salem witch trials. Now we go over to the interview with Mike Manukian. Hi, reporter Michael Manukian here with historian Brendan Deere. So Brendan, what exactly is a theocracy? Uh, theocracy is a form of government in which uh, priests or priestesses hold all the power. Uh, they are given this authority to rule from a god, a goddess, or several gods or several goddesses. Uh, it doesn't really matter though who gives the power. The, the basic social structure is still the same. The priests and the priestesses retain all the power, while the common person, they don't have any say, they don't have any power in their government. All right, now can you give me a modern day example of the theocracy? A good modern day example of a theocracy would be the Ayatollah in Iran, uh, Ahmadinejad. He basically holds all the power right now in Iran. So, how does the theocracy pertain to the Salem witch trials which were held in 1692? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, in 1692, a theocracy of priests was in charge of Salem. Uh, basically, the Salem witch trials, it was uh, mass hysteria amongst uh, a small town, and they were accusing each other of being witches, basically. And we now know today that there's no such thing as witches. And basically, the priests went along with it, and now it's not just a church matter or a social matter outside of government. Now, with the, the uh, theocracy, the priests say they, they want to hang all the witches. They're in charge, so they can actually hang, execute, torture, etc., all the witches. All right, so basically, a theocracy is not always such a good thing. Uh, no, throughout history, theocracies have proved not to be the best form of government. All right, thanks, Brendan. Phil, back to you. Thanks, Mike and Brendan. So basically, what you're saying is a theocracy can sometimes have negative effects. Now we're going to go over to Peter and Matt. Thanks, Phil. Reporter Peter Keenan here with historian Matt Eicher. Matt, what do you think the meaning of hysteria is? Well, I think hysteria is excessive or uncontrollable emotions such as fear or panic. Now, what do you think would be a great modern example of hysteria? Well, a good modern day example would be Joseph Stalin of USSR, Russia. He feared that people would take him over, so he killed anyone that opposed or criticized him. Now, how do you think this could tie into the Salem Witch Trials of 1692? Well, in Salem, people were afraid of being accused of witches because they didn't want to be killed or executed. So, they would accuse others who they thought would accuse them. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Phil. Thanks, Peter and Matt. Now we're going to go back live with Mike and Brendan. Hi, reporter Mike Manukin here with historian Brendan Deere. So, Brendan, can you give us your definition of mass hysteria? Uh, yeah, sure, Mike. Uh, a good example, a uh, good definition of mass hysteria is uh, hysterical traits or symptoms amongst a large population or group. Okay, so can you give us a modern day example of this? Yeah, sure. A uh, good modern day example would be the 1929 stock market crash. Uh, fear and panic were not only gripping the nation, but the entire world. Uh, also, the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, it had the entire world on the edge of its seat. Everybody was very fearful and very, like, panicky. Okay, so how, do, how does mass hysteria tie in with the Salem Witch Trials in 1692? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, mass hysteria is most likely to happen in areas that have a theo theocracy as government, and that's a very close-knit, small community. Because an idea in a small, close-knit community can spread like rapid fire. Like, for example, uh, so, uh, the idea that people can be witches, that was an idea that spread throughout Salem very quickly over the course of a couple weeks. And within a few months, people were already being hanged for being a witch. Right. Thanks, Brennan. Back to you, Phil. Thanks, Mike and Brennan. So now let's see what we learned today. Theocracy is a government ruled by a ruler, such as a priest, that got their power from a divine authority. Next, we learn about hysteria. Hysteria is, is an uncontrolled emotion, such as fear or panic in a, an individual. Mass hysteria 
is when a group of people share, simultaneously share the same emotion, such as fear or panic. Thank you, I'm Phil Bees, and I'm signing off. Thank you.